This ain't worth it. Just take me in. Oh, good, good. Now heal. And no begging. Get in! Wasn't very nice, Larry. Whoa! Hang on! Surely it ain't. Trevor Phillips? Am I that forgettable? Well, I was pretty messed up back then. And you, well, years ain't been kind to none of us, have they? How you been? Oh, oh, I can't complain. Yourself? You know, up and down. Look, sorry for that back there. Didn't know it was you. Hey, no harm done. Glad to hear it. Ha, well, isn't this pleasant? So, seeing as we're old acquaintances, what do you think about giving me a pass this time? All I did was cook up a batch, not even a real crime. You know how it is. Well, let's look at this objectively, shall we? You've shot at me, insulted my rugged good looks, and shamelessly gone after my market share. I'd just consider yourself extremely lucky your heart is still beating and not being stomped under my foot right now. Oh yeah, right. I heard about Johnny. Yes. If it wasn't for the fact I'd made a commitment to Maud and have a soft spot for the mature woman. Maud? Oh, hell, she smells like spoiled chicken feed. Maybe you can work your charms on her, see if she'll let you off. She's certainly hankering for some male <laughs> company, huh? What'd you think? Uh-huh, uh-huh. No way. I'll take the jail time. Second bail jumper, and I already know the feller. Maybe I need to take audit of my social circle. Hello, stranger. Who's this? Hello, Maud. I found this man wandering the streets, and I thought that maybe you uh, might be able to find him a home. I think I can do that. Anyway, let's not waste all day with the inconsequential chit-chat. You'll be receiving a file from me shortly. 